If you're a fan of the Toronto Raptors and your whole mindset is this team needs to win every game, that's how I get my happiness. Well, good luck watching this team. If you haven't done so already, guys, hit that subscribe button because you know what? It's going to be a rough time right now. This season is going to be rough. And I'd love to have you guys on the ride through this season and into the one of the most hyped drafts I've heard in a very long time. And it's insane for me to say this. Six games into the year. But with the loss tonight to the Los Angeles Lakers, and with Scotty Barnes' return not imminent, the Raptors are now 1-5. and five. And I'm okay with that. I have something up my sleeve for you guys. Again, if you subscribe and stick around, I have a little something up my sleeve to make these videos a little bit more interesting because last year was just no fun to make. And I'll keep it a little interesting for you guys. But I'm in the works with that. Bear with me. Let's get to this though. And if you're on team rebuild or team tank, you absolutely loved this game tonight. Grady Dick going off. RJ Barrett having a great game. Actually, Grady Dick hitting another career high in points. I saw Will lose tweet. His third career high in points in the last four games. Right before, I think it was 25, I believe. It's what, three or four games ago. That was his career high. Then he hit 30 in the last game. Career high. He hit 31 today. Career high for Grady Dick. He is continuing to grow and it is just beautiful to watch. Him and RJ were awesome. You got to see Jacoby Walter for a little bit today. Actually, I think more than a little bit. He played 20, 21 minutes. 5.6 boards. It was one of eight shooting. But again, defensively, I thought he looked all right. He was diving on loose balls. I, I liked the energy we got from him. Again, first game in the NBA and you're going up against LeBron. I mean, as a 20-year-old kid. Yeah! <laughs> wow! So... Shoutouts to him for that. But let's break down the game as a whole, all right, shall we? Um, because this is now two consecutive games where the Raptors lose by a narrow margin, but start the game horrifically. Right? Against Charlotte, you were down 20-something at one point in the first half. No good. They came back, eventually took the lead at one point. You're like, whoa, you know, holy crap, this team's fought back. And then they end up falling apart and losing uh, in the latter half of the third quarter and then the rest of the fourth. And you look at today's Raptor game. Well, they lost the first quarter 43-19. They lost by 24 in the first quarter alone. They lost the second quarter by one. They were down 25 at halftime. Now again... A lot of teams will cave in and just call it quits and take stupid shots moving forward, trying to pad their own stats, blah, blah, blah. This team did not. They came out in the third quarter. They fought. They won the third quarter 37-23. It went by 14, but they're still down 11 because they were down a ton. And even in the fourth quarter, there were multiple instances where they got the deficit down to six and you were right there. But unfortunately, a miss shot, you know, I think it was the big miss shot from Grady in the corner late in the game, but it was off balance, tough shot, but he was outstanding. Regardless, I'm not going to get anything too crazy about it. Um, and you lose, you know, you win the fourth quarter, 37-32, um, you know, it's, it, for me, I look at the scenario of, I'm okay with a loss like this, and I hate this, I, God. Do I hate talking about losses as a positive? You're damn right I do. But for the way this organization is going right now and the constant talk about rebuild and retool and development, and blah, 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 they need more talent. They need more talent. And we've heard nothing but craziness, craziness about this upcoming draft. Now, yes, with, with being only six games in, we have 70, what is it, 76 of these to go? Something like that? So there's a long way before we get to that point. But in a game like this, where you saw a lot of positives, but you still lost, I guess it's, you know, the, the yeah, guy can't do it really too much. I'll get used to it because I'm going to have to. Um, yeah, let's go to the player stats. I don't want to look at the team stats too much. RJ Barrett, guys. 33 points, 5 boards, 12 assists for RJ. 12. I, I'd say that was probably his best game as a Raptor. 
firing out there. There might be one more from last season that he looked better, but man, today he was awesome. 14 of 22 shooting, perfect 2 of 2 from the line, was 3 of 5 from 3-point range. In a game where you lost, he was a plus 1 on the floor. He only played 31 minutes as well. That's the thing. If you were real, and that's the difference between trying to win and trying to develop. You wanted to get, Jacoby Walter played 21 minutes of work, was a plus seven when he was out there. Mogbo played 20. If you wanted to win this game and you really did, you would have played RJ 35 plus. He played 31 minutes today. Grady played 31. Those were your best players tonight, no doubt. So, and even Jakob Pertl played only 35, and that was your, you know, obviously, what did their, their guys play? They wanted the win. LeBron played 36. Anthony Davis played 35. Only one guy off the, off the bench played 20-plus, and it was Gabe Vincent. So, it's clear what they're trying to do, but I loved RJ's game today. Jakob Pertl, another double-double, 19-12-6, and 9-14 shooting the problem. Uh, he did have three blocks, but the problem is Anthony Davis just cooked him to no end. And the rest of the Raptors to no end. 38-12, and 12, Anthony Davis just full-on dominated. LeBron was great, as per usual. One of the greatest of all time. Regardless of the age, it's incredible. Um, and I heard the, the, the Bronny chants while we were there, and we're like, really? They're only up by, like, six. They're not going to put Bronny out there. So, it's, it's, it's fine. Um, Davion Mitchell, 10 points and 5 assists, uh, 4-9 shooting, 2-6 from 3. Both threes were in the fourth quarter, so I guess that's a positive. But I'm going to break down something in a second. Grady Dick, 31-7-3. Caught fire from three-point range in that fourth quarter. 13, he took 26 shots. But I'm okay with that, man. Chuck it up. 26 shots. 13-26, 5 of 11 from three. Had a steal in the game. Loved Grady today yet again. I, he just continues to show what he's capable of. And, and he's been great. Like, people love to get horned up for, for points per game. He averaged 18.8 points a game going into play today. Yeah, he scored 31. That's going to be 20 plus. And he shot 50%. And he shot over 50% or around 50% from three. So that he's, he's, he, the numbers are going to look great for Grady through six games to start the season. And hey, you'll love to see it. Uh, bench wise, Jacoby Walter. All right. So. Only five points, six boards, one assist, one of eight shooting, 0 of three from distance. But you know what? In his first game in the NBA, I was kind of impressed. Now, what was I impressed about? Well, he wasn't phased by the moment. And I think for me, that's really important. For a 20-year-old kid in this, in this developmental season, what is he going to give you? Well, I watched him face up with the goal against LeBron and be like, yeah, I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to put my effort in. And I love it. Also, a couple of his rebounds. Dude's got ups couple rebounds where he went above guys and got and brought them down those six rebounds were not easy pickings he was great today again small sample size he's only 20 years old lots of room to go to grow for Jacoby Walter but hey we'll see right he's finally out there we get to see another face in the org and we get to stop watching guys like uh, Bruno Fernando play and you know Jameson Battle and guys who sorry but we won't be here very much and you get to see your first round pick of last year in Jacoby Walter. A little bit more interesting to see that. All right. But the one thing I wanted to say from tonight's game. There were two instances that I saw where you got beat by the same play twice in a row. And it was the pitch ahead to Anthony Davis twice. And it was Rui Hachimura knocking down two corner threes in a row off like, was it LeBron drives or it was just drives in general? I don't know. D'Lo was one of them. But those kill you. And we've, we've you heard the stats. If you watch the game, you, you hear about the Raptors' corner three-point percentage defensively, and it's not been any good this year, and it showed yet again today. D'Lo hit a big corner three. Like I mentioned, Rui, Rui hit, hit two corner threes. So they weren't great defending. Obviously, you allowed 131. Regardless, it's not good. You allowed 138 to the Charlotte Hornets. You are missing some guys. You didn't have IQ. You still don't have Scotty Barnes, obviously. No Kelly Olenek, which defensively, you're not going to get much. But you don't have those guys... And the fellas went out there today and they put in a great effort. And they and unfortunately, they lost. But for the Wins and Lessons crew, you love to see it. All right? On to the next one for the Raptors. And their next game is tomorrow. Second night of a back-to-back. As they are at home, obviously. They're not going anywhere. Against the Sacramento Kings' DeMar DeRozan. Makes his return to Toronto uh, yet again for the, quite a few times. 7.30 tip-off there. Can they go 2-5 and five or are they going to fall to 1-6? and six? I don't know. Sacramento's been all right this year. They're 3-2. and two. They just beat the snot of the Utah Jazz who have been 0-5. Oh, They're a terrible start to the season. But they just beat the crap out of them on Tuesday. They have the long rest till tomorrow where the Raptors are on the second out of a back-to-back. 
We'll see how it goes tomorrow at Scotiabank Arena at 7.30, all right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and uh, Grady and RJ today, and more or less the game overall, because again, it was entertaining just not being down like almost 30 to start the game would be nice. But hit that like button. Do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not done so already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. What you like, what you not like from today's game for the Toronto Raptors. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok. All that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you guys Leafs dish Again, I mentioned in the Leaf video, it'll be uploaded on Sunday probably. It's going to be a long night tomorrow. Same with the Raptors. Probably a double video there on Sunday. I don't think anybody will play on Sunday. Oh, no, the Leafs are on the back-to-back. -back. So they'll play, but I'll, I'll get the Raptors and Leaf video from Saturday. Uh, out to you on Sunday, unless something miraculous happens and I can do it tomorrow night. But regardless, thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and a majority of this game today. Talk to you guys then.